Togo Zani, it's always such a fascinating, exciting moment when I do this Motivations with Coco Dinoa. It's Sunday, it's Father's Day, it's Youth Day, and we've got a lot of things that we are needing to discuss around father issues, paternity issues, paternal issues as Africans. And as Coco Dinoa, please realize that as I motivate, all I'm trying to do is actually plant seeds of inspiration so that we can actually be in spirit in order for us to really cultivate the things that we are trying to cultivate for our lives because many of us struggle in life because there's multiple layers of complicities that are surrounding our issues of stuckness and when I speak I am not speaking as an expert of your personal life I am here to shed light on the issues that we are struggling with as African children as black children in society in these modern times and that whatever that I'm giving do not take it and try and apply it as it is but let it open your mindset let it brought in your spectrum and seek the necessary help that you might need to seek especially on the issue of paternity especially on the issue of paternal issues because that is deep and that is complex I'd like to say happy Father's Day to the daddies out there not only baby makers but those who have strived to be active and present in their children's lives. And I'd like to say happy Daddy's Day too to the mothers who had to play the dual role of being both a mother and a father. And historically, that's what a lot of women have done is to play the role of fatherhood because we've had a lot of absent fathers. And I wanna clarify something for us as black people. You know, a people who don't understand its history are people who are muddled up and lost in their own identity. Because a lot of times as women or as children of the African soil, we've got a lot of rage towards our men. And our men have a lot of rage towards our women. But today I wanna focus on the men and say that sometimes we don't understand the historical impact that has led to the discourses that we're experiencing as African families because of social and racial injustices and colonization that it played in fragmenting and dismantling the African families. Colonization, apartheid, took men away from their families. They took fathers away from their families because in African society, we thrive because we are a collective. We thrive because we are families. That's incremental for how we become better people in society. Sayings and proverbs that says it takes a village to raise a child. It understand that all of us have a role in molding and shaping this child into becoming the best version that can go and gift the world, gift itself, and gift us life as a community. So when men were removed, forcefully so, during apartheid from their families to go work in the gold mines to dig gold, they were taken forcefully away from their homes. When they got to those mines, they were treated like boys. They were degraded, they were dehumanized. Their masculinity and their manhood was brought to nothing. Hence that some of the you know, rages and the violent acts we are experiencing now have a history in the past. Listen to me carefully. This is not excusing any behavior that is not supposed to be so because we also have sayings in African culture that says, Umama win salabantu. Those sayings show that as society and as the men, we revere the womb that gives life. We respect it. We worship the ground in which it walks on. So in our inner knowing as Africans, we were never disrespectful towards the womb that has birthed us. Because when a man or woman, you come from a womb. That's a woman, meaning that in that collective space, you were created and you were birthed. So we have forgotten those things because our history was taken away from us. So we could be made to believe into anything that colonizers and apartheiders made us to believe in and we need to recorrect some of those things as Africans not by continuously perpetuating stereotypes of saying all our men are like this and black men are like that black men have seen the brunt of violence during times of colonization slavery and apartheid but it's also up to the black men right now to rise up 
and undo some of those justices by recorrecting so they can leave to the kingship that black men are because they are kings our men are kings but a king needs to understand that in order for you to be a king there is ways and demeanors in which one carries themselves and those ways in which one carries themselves are ways that understands the role the king plays in the child's life so when i posted in their own i said what are your paternity issues because i get a lot of questions and guys, understand that these motivations are my attempt to address individual questions that many carry because I don't have time to be sitting and going through individual questions and responding to them on Instagram, on social media. But these motivations are so you can play it over and over again. So understand that history has played a role in us not having our fathers in our lives. That even the fathers that we have in our lives don't know how to father because they had no one teaching them what fatherhood was about. And that's why we had what we call the bullo usidenta but we've got initiation schools because they were taught how to be men men that father men that caress men that nature men that love men that lead that lead with a woman in place and i also believe that's why we are moving from a society of very gendered centered to a society that is gender free because many of us had to play multiple roles in our children's life being mothers and fathers at the same time that as we move into the future this whole thing of men and women might cease to exist in the current form that we understand it and see it to be next time i'm going to speak about homosexuality i'm going to speak about sexual orientation and spirituality because that's another important topic but one because you were not only formulated by an egg, there was a sperm that germinated, that seed that was planted inside your mother's womb that created the life force that you are. So in your bloodstream line, in your DNA, runs your mother's and your father's blood. And runs in that their mothers and their fathers and so forth. The great Asian beings that come with your father are in your bloodline. The great Asian beings that come with your mother, they're in your bloodline. So it is very important for one to acknowledge both sides of paternity irrespective whether your father was present or not it sounds easy it is not easy for those who do not know their fathers and it is very sad that sometimes our own mothers do not want to tell us why and who our fathers are it does look like a selfish act which sometimes is a selfish act because it is also to protect their own reputation but some of you were born out of the same families in which your mothers live in so sometimes you're a product of incest of rape or of a violent act so it is a very painful thing for for a mother to acknowledge but the fact that that mother still carried you and allowed for you to be alive today i honor that woman irrespective of them telling you who their father your father is or not and sometimes because of infidelity that occurred then our mothers don't want us to know who our father are because we might carry that as our identity that I'm a child born out of an infidelity situation or I'm a child of my neighbor's uh, you know my neighbor's father or someone whom I knew as an uncle now I realize it's actually my mother my father so there is multiple reasons why our fathers sometimes are not being told that they are fathers and there are also selfish reasons that women would then say this is your father knowing very well that is not your father because that man is well off that man can be able to take care of you irregardless and irrespective of what the circumstances are there are no excuse of hiding secrets from your child because they then carry pathologies into their children and their children children's life so as the generation of these times let us be in truth let us be integrity even though it is painful but they always say you shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free irrespective of how painful it is but we need to shed off that old so we can allow the new to begin and for those who are hurt and said it by not knowing their father forgive them anyway because they did not know what they were doing if they knew better they would do better if your mother knew better she would do better if your father did better he would do better so now the stream is for you to understand so you can do better for your own children so that the pathology that you have inherited ceases to exist that it stops with you so it is important that you know your father's sinning so what happens when you're a child that is born out of wedlock 
and you know your father. When you are born out of wedlock, because a child that was born to your mother's side is said, so automatically, ancestrally, your mother's family become top of the hierarchy of the family tree. So that means that no ma upasha, no ma uenza izinto, ukala nga matosi, agamalume. You start with your mother's side of the family. That's why sometimes they say, gunombam. Because just because your father did not acknowledge paternity, which we call in Tawulu, when you are born out of wedlock, get Tawula, o Tawula, it's not that you are damaged. It is just that, that there was no communion there was no union ship that they formed before you were formulated you were born out of a relationship whether that relationship was of love or of something else but there was something that was created it was just not a formalized union hence it is important for you fathers out there to also know Shaula because you are putting up your hand and saying yes I fathered that child you know what I'm saying? So it's very important. That's what Intlaulo is. If they don't acknowledge paternity, there are rituals that one can perform to say that I was not there, but I honor and acknowledge and I receive you as my bloodline and receive you as my ancestral lineage. But then, because none from your own family has come forward, please do not trouble me. Don't lay the burdens on me. I am not the one who moved away from you. Your offspring of the living have moved away from me and have failed to take me in as one of their own. So please go and tell them to do what is right. So that's what needs to happen. I will not specify the rituals because each family heritage, each family bloodstream, each family ritual is different, but there are rituals and that's why there's some gomas because they tap into the tapestry of the spiritual world and the family ancestry of the spiritual world to see what is it that could be done to readdress some of the paternal issues you are not held at hostage by your paternal father's side of the family you can still live a normal life irrespective of what they did or they're not doing you can still go ahead your calling irrespective whether your father's side is supported or not we always have a way to find things and find a common ground you are not held at hostage by those things are we already at 15 minutes We're done. like that Wow, guys, my 15 minutes motivation is done. I, I don't believe it's 15 minutes. She says it's 15 minutes. What time is it? 17.19. No, but didn't we start at... 06. Oh, 06. Oh, uh, six. Yeah. So oh, 19 six. is time. It's a, it's a minute that you need to wrap up now. Oh, it's a minute that I need to wrap up. Sorry, guys, because 15 minutes is the time I get to upload this video on, on Insta TV. But as you had, you're not held at hostage. There are ways if you're struggling, see a Sangoma. There are rituals that can be performed. You can actually be named and carry the name of your father's side. If you were given a name of a father or you were given a surname and you find out that's not your father, there are also re rituals that can be uh, performed to readdress the discourse that has happened. There's always a way where it seems that there is no way. Love and light, so we speak next time. And Stop end life. No. End like this.